Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. Oh, what's going on? What's going on, ballers? And welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. Uh, I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And uh, the focus of this show is to really drill down on helping student athletes succeed beyond their degree. And we always like to drill in by focusing on stories, strategies, and successes. And today is, is no different than any other time. And we have, a, we have another exciting guest uh, today. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get talk a little bit about volleyball today, and I'm excited to learn about volleyball. But but e- even more than that, uh, just the opportunity to to learn about another amazing, phenomenal individual. So uh, with, with that being said, I mean her her re- resume is off the chain. Okay, resume is off the chain. Uh, just a, just a few things about her. She's two time All Conference and two time All District selection, and she also was selected as uh, Under Armour All American, three time North. Kansas high school team MVP and the list goes on <clears throat> the list goes on and on and on and on um j- just just about some of the accolades she, she's done in, in volleyball and we're going to get to talk about that and and so much more but without further ado let's go ahead and welcome Miss Kalissa Minity to Beyond the Ball how are we doing Kalissa I'm doing great how are you I'm doing good I'm I'm, I'm doing good I'm doing good welcome welcome <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. how, how, like, how how does it feel um, being on for two reasons? Why one because you're the first you like as you you know as I know you transitioned from high school and you moving on to college, you're the first person that we've actually interviewed. I believe before they've gone to college. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and with, with with this being your first interview, I mean your first podcast. I'm excited. I'm excited, Kalissa. Okay, excited. <laughs> I, I am too. But um, yeah, that's that's a cool fact, you know. Um, I, I feel like the transition to college um is a very big step for people like like young people in general, not even just athletes. Um, but I feel like you know on the athletic side, it's a little bit nerve, you know, more nerve wracking. But I mean, I'm really excited. <laughs> I've got, I've got a little bit of you know anxiety, but I'm. I'm more excited than anything else. Gotcha, gotcha. What what would you what would you say you're a little bit anxious about as you prepare to transition? Um, just more of the academic side. And after yesterday, I had my orientation, and everything. Um, I'm a little bit less. I'm a lot less nervous. Um, you know, just making sure everything falls in place. And every, yesterday, everything did. So that kind of <laughs> made my you know uh, worries for the transition a lot less. <laughs> Dope, dope, dope. All right. So look, looking at the accolades, you know, uh, of, and I only I didn't even read all of them. Right. Because I, I I saw it's like stacked up like a resume. I'm like, dang, uh, I'm like, she got them all. But um, like. When did you really begin to separate yourself? Because you're you're preparing to go to school. Right. When, when did you begin to like realize that you were elite? Um, in, 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 in terms in terms of like volleyball and in terms of as an athlete, like because, you know, there was a separation point and I'm sure you've realized that. And if, if you were to trace it back, like like tell us a little bit more about that, like when you began to realize like, oh, OK, I'm not necessarily like everybody else, but I'm cold at this thing. <laughs> well, um, I kind of knew from a very young age, um, I had an amazing young, uh, our coach when I was young. Uh, he was a Nigerian coach. I think he played for the Nigerian uh, national team for a while. And um, he really, like, in, like installed the fundamentals in me of volleyball very young. And so, like, it was automatic. Like, with, you know, his training and then also having, um, you know, my own athleticism. And I was, like, really naturally athletic. And, um, you know, just those two really, like, set me in front of everybody. Um, so, around 12 I was playing up um I I I played up for a while I um and by up I mean I was you know 12 playing 13s you know 13 playing 14s and then um I when I, I think I when I went into my 15 um or when I was going into my 15th year instead of playing um 16s I just played 15s and that's when I made my club transition um but yeah I was always playing up and um even when I was um given the opportunity to go, um, you know, somewhere a little bit more competitive, uh, I would, they asked me if I wanted to play 18s at 15 years old. 
And so um, I always was like a little or a step or two ahead of my, the rest of my um, peers in terms of like, you know, knowing the game of volleyball. So at 15, did, did you end up playing 18s or you didn't, you didn't make that, that jet jump? No, I didn't think it was a, you know, I didn't think it was a <laughs> good idea to make that big of a jump. But, um, you know, just the fact that I was, you know, offered or they believed that I could play at that level at such a young age, you know, just speaks for itself. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that definitely does. Because when you said that, I was like, what? Because <laughs> that's, yeah, that's serious. Uh, but I mean, e even having that opportunity de does definitely show that, you know, you're, 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 you're a standout um, and everything like that. But in terms of like, because I, I, I want to I want to hear more, more of your background, because I know I know you have two sisters. And I, and, and I know one of your sisters, uh, she plays, she hoops for, for Kansas. Uh, and then I, I'm not sure if your other sister, play, does your other sister play sports as well or, or no? Is she like full-time student or? Uh, yeah, my younger sister plays volleyball too. Oh, yeah, okay. We are currently, uh, or uh, if I wasn't graduating early to go to Minnesota, then um, we would uh, be at the same volleyball club. Which is Dynasty Volleyball Academy. That's scary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's pretty good too. She's she's pretty darn good. So you have to look out for her too. <laughs> wow. Okay. So wow. So we have two. We have two volleyball ballers, and we have one uh, basketball player. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. So if 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 you if you were to give us a number. Right. Because there, there, there might be somebody listening who might be a parent. There might be somebody listening uh, who might desire to be, you know, either a division one volleyball player or a division one athlete. If you were to break down for us, how much time would you say that you put into your sport on a weekly? If you broke down like a week or like a day, like give us a ballpark figure. How, how much how much time of your life is volleyball taking up? Um. So. For like specifically club volleyball, um, I practice about six hours a week. Um, so two hours each, three days. Um, and then if you don't, if you can include training, if you choose to like train outside of or do like okay. extra reps or, um, or even like you know strength, strength and agility, then that's you know maybe another two hours. So I would say about eight hours a week, eight to ten. Okay. Okay. So we so we got eight eight to ten hours. So how, how much time does that leave for? How much time does that leave for like, like a social life? Um, yeah, I I have a pretty decent social life. Um, in like you know eight to ten hours is only it's not even a majority of you know your seven days of a week. Um, but uh, you know, and that's another thing about being a student athlete is finally finding that balance. Um, when I, when I was last year, I did um, IB, so it was I did um, international. I think it's a baccalaureate or something. I probably butchered that, but um, so that like on the academic side, I had a heavy load, and then I had a heavy load in volleyball, and then so kind of that social life got put to the side. But at that same time, it, it wasn't completely cut out, so I still had a social life. But um, it does affect it if you know you're in the gym all the time, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was, I was curious, uh, you know, just, just, just to see and, you know, put the whole, put the whole schedule together and everything because, like, high school volleyball is one thing, and then there's the club, and then just, just like what you said, there's the other aspect of, you know, the training and, and everything like that. And a lot of times, people may look from the outside looking in, and, you know, they might see you out there doing your thing. They might be like, I want to do what she's doing, but the question is like. Are you really devoted and dedicated? Because, like you said, you know, so, since a young age, you said you was out there getting it. <laughs> you, 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 you signed up. You were locked in. You were listening to the coach's instruction. So, you know, that's, you know, that's dope. Uh, you, you know, to hear. But I mean, let's so so let's take a slight pivot and tell us a little bit more, like about you, like either outside of volleyball if if you decide but i want to i want to hear more about you and more, more about your story if you wouldn't mind sharing with us Calissa. okay um well i started volleyball of course at a really young age i started when i was about seven um you know you know i've been playing ever since so about 10 years of you know club volleyball community volleyball so um you know of course that experience and everything um 
Uh, my mother uh, is a big influence in my life and my father is too. Uh, my father spent a majority of his time working to, you know, cause club volleyball is very expensive. Um, very, very expensive. And so um, he spends a majority of his time, you know, keeping us in the sport we love and same thing with my mom. Um, but uh, yeah, my mom always at tournaments and stuff. <laughs> always at tournaments, always supporting her um, daughters. And uh, that's where she spent the majority of her time when she wasn't at work. Um, but I have two supportive parents. Um, and of course, an older sister and a younger sister that have always been in sports. So it was just like never ending for them. <laughs> and then, um, you know, my, my little sister still has her few years of club volleyball. So it's still going. And um yeah, so th they've always been really big influences in my life. And um, I first started off volleyball at Club North Volleyball. Um, and then I transitioned to Dynasty Volleyball Academy. Um, two amazing clubs. Like I built lifelong like relationships there, lifetime friends, and had many memories in both of those clubs. Um, and, you know, those are people I'll never forget. Those are people who I'll, I'll come back home and visit and, um, you know, just... <laughs> reminisce all the, all the memories I had together with them. And yeah, uh, and I only ever played volleyball. Um, <laughs> I, well, well, I started off with dance, actually. I started off with dance and I think that's kind of where I got my coordination. <laughs> I got my coordination from dance and then I played a little bit of soccer, but I didn't like the idea of being outside that much. So we, we went, we did, we went inside <laughs> or the AC and the So when you were playing, club volleyball and you know staying staying active and staying busy everything like that and you also were playing we're playing high school um I, I i would assume i would assume correct me you know let let me know if i'm wrong but mm -hmm. um do you feel that club volleyball opened you up to more exposure more opportunity and, and more eyes as opposed to just playing high school volleyball yeah definitely i feel like um club volleyball is a little bit more um competitive uh high school can be competitive but um there's also the factor of like you know girls just you know an athletic girl that has never played volleyball before you know just come play volleyball <laughs> so um while in club and you know there's nothing wrong with that but like in club everybody has you know had a lot more experience in club especially at the open level because that's the highest level in club so um you get that higher level of competition and then of course college coaches see, love to see how you respond to that and so I, I think club opens up a lot more opportunities, um, especially if you play well in club, because um, that's a little bit better of a resume, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Fair enough, fair enough. And I, and as you're just preparing to transition, were there were there any particular volleyball players who are competing? Like, well, at, at one point, you know, they were like a little bit older than you, and you know, they were already playing in college as you were in high school. <laughs> Are there are there any volleyball players who, you know, you've looked up to or any volleyball players where you're like, you know, this person uh, inspired me a little bit or, you know, maybe you might have might have got some little stuff from uh, prior to now you being a college volleyball player? Um, my probably biggest influences were. Huh. That's actually a really good question. I don't have anybody specific in mind. Um, hmm. I think actually, I think her name is Destiny Hooker, if I'm not mistaken. I might, I might have um, butchered her name, but uh, I think she she played at Texas, and so she was a very big influence of mine. And I just, I just loved how she dominated the game. Um, and that was one of the, my biggest ones. She, she was, you know a really big, you know, inspiration for me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, shout out to Destiny, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Destiny. Uh, and with, with UT, what, the champions, right? The national champions. Oh, yeah. Especially. So, yeah, okay. E exciting, exciting, exciting. All right, all right. So now now what we're, uh, what, what we're going to get ready to do, now I want to, I want to, I want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. And um, th this is this is the the portion I like to call our, our dear student athlete segment, right? Our dear student athlete segment, and this is where you get the opportunity to share a tip or a nugget or just some piece of 
information that you feel you've learned or you feel would be beneficial to uh, a current or a aspiring student athlete? Okay. Um, and I'm going to go back to that balance thing that I mentioned earlier, just having a balance in life because um, especially nowadays, you're val like valuing your mental health is so important, especially as a student athlete, because um, you have to sometimes pr prioritize other things over others. Um, and sometimes you have to prioritize being in the gym over, you know, like that social life. And that's kind of just what it is, especially if you have a goal in life and, um, and that goal takes a majority of your time. Um, but just making sure that like, yeah, you, yeah, you're going to be in the gym a lot, making sure when you're not, you, you know, you have something that like calm yourself or, you know, um, you're having friends that, you know, you can enjoy time with to balance everything out. And then also that academic side comes in too. So, um, just making sure you're balancing everything and you're happy with that balance. Um, so you can, you know, actually enjoy your time here. If that makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Mental health is essential, essential, essential. So now I want to, um, I, I want to do our, our rapid fire, our rapid fire segment. And this is where I'm going to ask you, um, I'm gonna give you two options. So this is called this or that. And then you say one option or the other. Okay. Alyssa, are you ready? Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Summer or winter? Summer. Beaches or mountains? Beaches. Chick-fil-A or Popeyes? Chick-fil-A. McDonald's or Burger King? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Apple or Android? Apple. Audiobooks or podcasts? Audiobooks. There we go. See, that was pain. That was painless. That, that, that was painless. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> so uh, now, now this is the opportunity where uh, now is the opportunity where I want to give you the chance to shout out somebody who you feel maybe like an unsung hero or somebody you've seen killing it out there. Somebody who's just inspiring people, and you're like, Jonathan, this person is the winner circle of the week, and I think you should interview them next because, you know, whatever. This is the person that you just you like. This person is dope. They don't get as much credit as they deserve. Who would that person be for you? Um, uh, that's a that's a really good question. Um, I got a couple people in mind, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be a close friend of mine because she. I just I just value how hard she works. She's a multi sport athlete, really good in her academics. Um, but. I would, I would say Kylie Estes. She's a really good friend of mine, and um, she's just such a hard worker. <laughs> and she, you know, she's plays multiple sports and balances it all. Again, that balance in uh, life. All right. So, uh, with, with that, with that being said, thanks so much for taking time. Thanks so much for hopping on uh, Beyond the Ball. Uh, we appreciate you. We're gonna be rooting for you. I don't watch much volleyball, but now I have a reason to. So, yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Gonna be gonna be checking out, gonna be checking out you all. The Golden Gophers, right? Golden Gophers. Yeah. Golden Gophers. Yeah. The Golden Gophers. I won't be at a game in person because it's cold up there. But you know. <laughs> yeah. that's what a lot yeah. of people say. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll be with you, you know, on the TV and in spirit and everything like that. So okay. uh, so now now at now at this time, please go ahead and let people know where they can find you, follow you, and uh stay connected with your journey. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Calissa.m. Uh, Twitter, I think, is my full name, Calissa Minity. Um, and you'll be able to watch me on the in the Big Ten at Minnesota next volleyball season. And yeah, <laughs> but you'll be able to find me. Excellent, excellent. Lo love to see it. Love to hear it. This, that, that's exciting. That's exciting. So yeah, and for everybody, everybody out there listening, make sure make sure you tap in, make sure you follow Calissa. I'm gonna have her uh, link down in the show notes, um, and also uh, be sure if you if you enjoyed this interview and if you enjoy uh, this type of content, be sure to hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, and then you can also find us on all your podcast platforms. Just type in Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones, and this is where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree.